Oh, whoops. Yeah, it would help if I teleported back to your ship first. Okay, now time to man mode this run. Get my blocks ready. The ultimate pat technique. Are you going to create a hover bridge? Why can't I place all these blocks? Yes. No, no, no. You guys stay inside. Oh god. Are you creating a hover bridge? No. <laughs> Things are attacking no. me and I'm running. Good luck. May the Foss be with you. Well, I'm already back at the big hill, so... Those are passive. Don't need to worry about that. Oh god, birds. Apparently those birds are passive. So I think the next tier after Titanium is actually Durasteel. Yeah, I know there's another tier at one point that requires you to get uh, <laughs> or uh, Steel type or yeah, yeah, it's Durasteel. The uh, I know that there's only four sectors right now in the game apparently, but at release there's supposed to be five. I'm slowly coming up behind you. And now it's raining. Oh god. Oh, I got rainbow wood. Oh, hello. I'm just gonna come in here now, because there was a terrible thing chasing me before. I went to put something on my bar and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I am ready to craft all the bandages. I don't want to make steel blocks, that seems like a stupid plan. Kind of weird that there's no short, uh, no improved version of the axes. It'd be cool if the axe weapons could be used to axe things. But Whoa. okay, I cut it first. I was closer, and somehow you got it all. Uh, my a friend of mine. Oh, goddamn! I did not realize it was Ragro. Uh, My bad. Me and a buddy came up with the theory that uh, host advantage takes place in this game. So that because does I'm sound right. because I'm the host, it prioritizes me, even though you are technically closer. This game is a dick. That is my executive, you know, response to that. Your executive response, eh? Yep. It is very official. Finery. Can skip having to make all this stuff. Oh, bad thing! It's starting tonight. Oh, yeah. I think I might just go to a different planet to try and get some iron. Because I didn't, get, I didn't get any iron at all on there. I'm gonna go until I die on this run. Beta sector. Sure. Ooh, I found a sector with lots of planets on it, which is a good start. No snow planet, though. Why do you need a snow planet? I don't want a snow planet. Oh, okay. Because snow planets are terrible. No, snow planets are awesome. They're covered in snow. It's like being outside right now. Yeah. They're only awesome, though, if you can survive the whole, like, you know, snow part. My brain just tried to put cooked meat into the furnace. No, stop smelting all the ore. I don't need to smelt ore anymore.
Uh, so platinum is after titanium. Oh, it is? I don't know. I haven't... Well, did you find platinum on any planets? Like, I in reasonable quantity, or have to craft anything other than... Oh, I pickaxe? just found platinum ore on this planet. Alright, then. But I did find it in tier 2 on one planet. I found some in tier 1, but, like... It just kind of seems weird, like, gold upgrades to titanium, nothing upgrades to platinum, so I assume platinum is the next tier after. The only thing i found that uses platinum is the actual the, pickaxe. The, the pickaxe, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll make silver pants. I can. And I'm going to go to your ship and abuse your robotic crafting thing to see if I can make any gold. Wait, where does the actual recipe appear? Yeah, uh, I, I don't have the recipe yet because I don't yeah. have a thing. Which thing? because I don't have the star map, I don't actually have the recipes for that tier yet. Ooh, that that makes sense. All right. All right. On the bright side, I went to a jungle planet, so tons of plant stuff everywhere. Ooh. I found some humans. Did you kill them? Nope. They want to kill me and they have guns. Well, this will get me some weapons, at least, probably. And also, this has lots of iron here. Bandit's Everything hood. Is coming up, Chris. Yeah, they're, like, right to the left of where I spawned. Alright, they had nothing but a bandit hood. So, I am now a bandit. That feels kind of disappointing. Ah, random monster. Okay, I really needed a new weapon. killed the random bandits really easily, but the monsters here kind of kicked my ass when he hit me once. Did you insta-die? No, but I got, like, I lost, like, half my health, and the other half I had almost, uh, I had lost a little bit less than half from fighting three human bandits that were just, like, constantly attacking me, so I feel like the monsters might be slightly harder than the, uh, the random people I fought. so many monsters. Because <laughs> they want to numb your face. Clearly. Oh, I found another... I think I found another Apex facility. Yo, us monkeys be crazy, like, popular, you know? I just wish there was less monsters everywhere. <laughs> They actually don't do that much damage to me. I'm not sure what did so much to me. Maybe it hit me with a skill. This is a cool little thing. I've never seen something like this before. Okay, so this is not... Uh, an Apex, like, random tech lab. It's a gigantic facility with guards. What? You always find the coolest You will join me in the ground. What? Why am I fighting zombie monkeys? With a ton of health? <laughs> Precious alien kisser and a wild bro hacker. Oh, so much more damage. Okay, wild bro hacker, you're my weapon of choice for now. Oh, nice. It's one of those things that shoots, too. What the heck is this? There's... F what the hell is this building? It's like a giant monkey pyramid. 
and it's covered in like glowing floating platforms. Uh, I think it's called the coolest thing ever. It's like right next to the base too. Like this could literally be like a cool place to just come and chill out. I might warp over to you just to like see the awesomeness. What are you? Do, do you do anything cool? Nope, you're really slow. Trash. trash. No, I died. Trash. Well, on the bright side, now you can come join me. Yep. Let me just craft my stuff first. This weapon is super awesome. <laughs> it attacks so fast and it shoots the like beams that do a decent amount of damage on their own. And if it, the actual sword part hits, it does like a really huge knockback. Nice. And this piece better not take 35 titanium bars because I have 34. <laughs> well, I'm getting a lot of pixels from this place at least. Oh man, I have to go back to the planet to find one more titanium ore. Because it does take 35? Yeah. Let's just make this safe. Okay, there's a giant portion of this underground facility that is all red and says danger, do not enter outside of it. Um, awesome. Totally entering it. Oh, I found a high-tech chest, which might have a tech in it. What kind of tech? I don't know, I have to ch get to it still. No, it has rope and javelins. This is definitely so far the coolest place that I've found. I'm having a hard time determining what's actually safe to stand on though, because there's a large part of this place that just glows red on the floor constantly. I killed fluff wings, apparently. <laughs> scientist lab coat. I am now a bandit scientist. Scientist feet coat. You want a scientist coat? Sure. We can totally do science. I am doing evil science, though, because I am wearing a bandit cloak. Whoa, that was almost awful. Okay, scientist glasses. Awesome. I think I will be full on science. You can do all the sciences. It's time to stand back. Because I'm going to try science. assume that that would kill me if I touch it and go up instead ah I just randomly got attacked from above by a monkey I think they're cyborgs oh my god I found death robots where on the, the tier 3 planet that I was on oh Oh, nice. I found iron bars. Ooh, and energy javelins? <laughs> I 
Okay, so this part's explored. If this place stays empty and things don't respawn on it, we should totally steal this building. Make it our base of operations? Yes. We can get rid of the tier 1 starting home planet that I set up, because who cares? There's nothing on it anyway. Well, except an underground monkey facility, but this one's cooler. And everyone knows, much like Terraria, all the coolness is what matters. Exactly. I don't even know what this room is, but there's a giant glowing purple thing in the middle. Or red thing. What's... a robot cover? What is that? Is that a shield? Yes, it is. I now have an awesome looking steel shield. That I don't need. That's for you. Ow. <laughs> like that. What are you? Ow. Yep. Okay, so glowing thingamajigger that I touched apparently exploded and shot black stuff everywhere and one shot me. Sounds like you're having an exciting day. Alright. Smelt this iron. And probably still can't make much with this amount of steel, but whatever. Uh, what am I trying to make? Robot thing? Where's the robot thing? It's at the crafting table. Isn't it? It's at the crafting table, right? No, you craft it at the iron, but it requires a crafting table. Uh, okay. Come on, brain. Identify the thing you need to craft. Apparently a metal workstation also works as a crafting table. Hmm. Okay, seriously. What Ooh, the hell's hello. the thing I need to make? <laughs> I just got rocket jump ship. Ah, uh, rocket jump. Oh, robotic crafting table. There it is. Okay. So I still need seven more iron bars. You got a what? A rocket jump? Yeah, the rocket jump boost. Remember that thing that I had once that just sends you as high... It sends you to the minimum height that makes you take damage. Yeah. So essentially if you jump off of something, anything, you pretty much take damage for sure when you land. Right. AKA that thing where I'm sure there's something it combos with that makes it great. Just don't know what that is yet. Yeah, maybe some kind of a cape item or something. Well, I know apparently later on there's racial armor. And it makes like the uh, the monkey one lets them let well jump higher. Yeah, it's jump higher. The flying guys can glide and that kind of thing. All right, so let's find out what that thing is that killed me. The hell? Matter blocks. So it what? exploded and shot out matter blocks. And Wait, I isn't that the thing you need for those super helmets? I don't know, but I, I've got new blueprints from touching them. Alright, well, yeah, matter blocks are gr like a green item, so that's something special. I just found a better weapon than the one I have right now. The one I have does 21 damage and attacks really fast with lightning element, 
This new one is Death Element, two-handed, 31 damage, and swings slower, but not, like, retarded slower. But I still like this one-hander, so I'll keep it. I never really know if the special effects done by some of these weapons actually carries over, or like if it like indicates if it counts in the damage or anything. So like, no, I, th I think burnt uh, fire does not three damage per second when their enemies burnt. Yeah, like, like I, I don't, I, I know what they do, but I just don't know if it like if the DPS takes it into account. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think you give them too much credit. Well, it's something I'm sure they will want to do eventually. Unless they make it do fixed damage with the uh, things. Yeah. Jiggers. Thing of jiggers. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have to make sure I remember this is my new home planet now. Oh yeah, this is poison, it's not death element. I forgot about that. Okay, I don't know what the next boss item is. I just found a mini boss. Ha, ah, decoy princess. Okay. Oh. This weapon trivializes mini bosses so super hard. It's way too powerful. The mini boss dropped an item that's 12 damage per second, and I've got 31. I think this that base I just found was like super rare spawn. So the next boss is apparently a dragon. Dragon, you say? What the heck? This jungle has an ice, has a snow biome on it. I didn't think that was possible. Yeah, the next uh, thing is a decoy princess. Nice. Well, if we actually create a, a landing pad for the warp in up high, this place would be perfect. So are you still exploring that? Oh my god, this thing is huge. Yay. Yeah, it's like, and it's right next to the base. It's like you couldn't ask for a more perfect thing. I finished the exploration of the whole inside. It's all looted out now. Okay. But it, that was like easily one of the coolest places I've found so far. And actually, probably the coolest. You've gone through the, the danger place? Yeah, I went through all the different areas on it. I kept track of what paths I went down and looted everything. Oh my god, it's lava. Is it? Yeah, when you hit the red stuff, it says melting. Ah. But I want all the glass blocks, so lava gets to... Don't, well, don't, there. like, open up all the lava. No, just a little bit. Is it leaking out into the room? No, no, I did it from... I got glass from the top. Okay, good. Because that's going to be our new base, so... Don't flood it with lava. <laughs> Yeah, but I can just make a lava pit at the bottom. Oh my god, this place is huge. There's yep. like lava everywhere. Yup. Did you... Okay, you did the whole search of the entire thing, eh? Yep. There was two chests in there that I looted. None of them had anything particularly cool in them. Oh, pressurized steel, eh? Are you br breaking the whole place? No, I just had to... I saw a treasure chest, so I went in a cheesy way. So I had some pressurized steel. I'm now continuing left. 
the direction of forward. I started finding a little bit of iron at least. I feel like my combat effectiveness drastically improved as a result of going in that place. I now like two shot all the things on this planet. <laughs> There's so, an the igloo. so the princess, the only hard thing to get about it is 50 titanium blocks. Which, to be fair, does not seem to take that long. Titanium blocks? Uh, titanium bars. Okay. The blocks Which, would kind of suck. Yeah, doesn't take that long to get that many. I'm also in full titanium armor. Nice. Yeah, I have the insurgent's armor now. This is essentially gold armor plus heat uh, resistance. Oh, I hear you jumping. Hello. Super efficient gathering. I love jungles. There's so much fun to run through, and you get so much. Uh, what should we call it? Ooh. Plant fibers? Yeah. Hey, okay, do you want your scientist coat? Sure. And keep. I love poison, it makes monsters glow. So does fire. There's a little altar over here. This planet has all kinds of stuff. Ah, <laughs> the plant dude? No, we're back at the ice. This place is weird. 33 DPS, 2.07 swing speed. That's pretty fucking good. It's higher DPS by two than the one I have, but I like the poison effect on this. Yeah, this is a very strange jungle. <laughs> what are you? I'm being attacked by all kinds of bats. It's because they want you. By attacking the bat, it revealed gold. have a secondary attack. Makes me sad. I think it's very limited to number of weapons that do. I had a spear before that did, but it wasn't like a very good secondary attack. It what was basically the same thing, but instead of shooting a beam, it did like a red thing. Very descriptive. Yeah, it's like, you know like spears normally have like that little like arrow kind of animation to show yeah. that they're like thrusting? It was blue normally with the range attack, and then it was red when I didn't use the range attack. Oh man, that's pretty epic. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh I got a bandit hat. Have you given up on mining anything that's not, like, currently useful to you? Pretty much. Except for coal. I, I like. Uh, I've been mining everything just on the simple principle that, the heck, oh, a hardened monster plate. That uh, the 
pretty much everything that you find is useful because you can use it to make pixels in the refinery instead of having to actually go farm for pixels later. Yeah, but I have like a pixel store now. I have like a bunch stored up. Okay. <laughs> Hit a bird, then walk away and let it light up everything for me. Hello, random sleeping thing. Oh, snap. I found a salesperson. Nice. Ooh, she sells cool jackets. <laughs> I find there's way too many clothes salespeople in this game. Hey. Look at this. I got casual pants and cool jacket. Yeah, now cool I jacket is like my starting clothes. <laughs> now I look like a prisoner. Still wearing the uh, other thing, the bandit hat. Oh, yeah, but I got insta gib, so I'm gonna go back to my tier three. <laughs> I just realized I'm almost dead. Vendor die. Looks like they did. That is entirely possible. Oh, you got instigated by the uh, thing you activated. Yep. Yep. More gold. I like finding gold. It's practical since I currently need gold. <laughs> I'll definitely have enough iron to make the uh, robot table after this. Very cool. I have yet to just find another... Like, I got the new tier of titanium stuff, but I haven't got anything else yet. I'm sorry, random NPC. There was a merchant. Are you though? Well, Are there was really? the merchant ran at me and was being chased by monsters, and I tried to help, and he ran into my axe. Do you look at me? I'm helping. Um, no, no. He died in one hit, so I didn't even get a chance. Oh well. I like the fact that you cut the smelt diamonds. Yeah. Apparently the diamond pickaxe is really, really bad from what I was reading this morning. Like worse than the type platinum pickaxe? Like it breaks really quickly. Which is like completely not making any sense at all. Because everyone knows diamonds are like such a soft, squishy substance. Obviously. So there's like a legit like Pikachu. Like it's tails a lightning bolt and it shines. Yeah, they all do that. All those uh those things. Sometimes you get some that are actually yellow and rabbit like, which just makes them funny. Okay, I found a very unpleasant map where there are tons of bad guys. Yeah, and every one of them drops 135 pixels. Wow. What tier are you in? That's tier three? Yeah. Oh my god, I think I might want to find one of those living planets again. With the gross, delicious squishiness to them. Yeah, there's like blood and corrupt. No, these are just corrupt dirt blocks. What? 
I found a glitch house with a monster in it and no people, and all the doors are closed. Did the monster close all the doors after it murdered everyone? No, I think this is actually a stable. It's a non-aggressive monster. So I killed it. You are quite humanitarian, Chris. Why is this planet so awesome? I've never seen a single planet have so many different things in it. And that's not even counting anything that might be underground. Maybe the underground is super lame. Hey, are you... are you... yeah, you're a vendor. Casual clothes? I don't really care about your casual clothes, but I'll let you live because you didn't try and kill me. Clay makes gross squishy noises when you land on it. There are giggles in your background. There are. Sorry, random fish. walking around swinging my weapon, go into an underground cave, fish happens to be there, insta dies. Why do you hate the fishes, Chris? But they're so delicious. So much iron to stockpile. Must be almost done. Another vendor? Man. More clothes? Yeah. And more snow biome. This planet is really strange. <laughs> it alternates between jungle and forest. And has fair. way too many people selling clothes in the middle of nowhere. To be fair, so does our planet, so. Yeah. Aha, you have found Earth. Just really way smaller. And with monsters on it. Either that, or our characters are actually giants. Could be. And all the trees have been left alone for like hundreds of years, so they've grown gigantic. Exactly. So, question. What was the premise of this game that you start off with like nothing naked on a planet in the middle of nowhere with a starship? Uh, I assume you didn't read your lore books? No, not in the least. It depends on your race, but like the humans... Uh, let me just double check. So human, humans are doing awesome, and things were happening all over the place. Civilization was blooming and blossoming. And, uh... Just see here. So... The human story is that I feel slightly guilty about the little alien I brought on board the ship, the little hungry alien that I ejected out of the airlock after I ate the rest of the crew. But there's no sense in crying over spilled blood, you think? Spilt fuel, however, is a different story. So essentially, I, it ate the rest of the crew, and I was oh, just like so on a ship. I'm not like a licensed crewman or anything, really. So what you're saying is that your character is ripped. Well, to be fair, Ripley's not the one who brought that on the ship. Yeah, true, but close enough. I don't know what your story is, though. Because you're I a super hyper-advanced race, so... It's actually pretty short. There's just, like, there's a bunch of logs, and one of them is just, like, uh... Probably called an Apex Journey Begins. I'll get to that in a little never, because storyline. Bleh. Yup. I read through all my logs. Now I have a whole pile more that I've collected, and I don't really care about reading all those. 
because there's apparently quite a few lore things in this game. <laughs> I normally do read all the lore things in games, but yeah. I've had lots of iron now. That's good. I can make lots of steel things. I'm not going to bother making the steel armor, but I'll at least have the iron to make other things. Wait, did I not pick those up? Ah, flamethrower bird. But it is a flamethrower weapon that you can get. There's guns. Have you seen a gun yet? Nope. Yeah, there's actually like a whole pile of guns. You can even find them in the beginning of the game. What? It's all like random spawn. There can be like a spaceship that has crashed on the planet and they have guns all over the place that you can steal. I really just want to get around this planet so I can start doing stupid things like trying to explore with you on the tier 3 planet to gear up faster. Another vendor. This planet is kind of weird. What do you say? Or totally More awesome. You're obviously in the fashion labs. That's what that super dangerous place was. Clearly. That's where they develop all the high-tech fashion. Yep, it was tested on Apexes. That does explain why my character now looks super awesome. randomly chased a monster into a hole to kill it, and it fell onto a huge pile of iron. Like, kind of a ridiculously large amount, actually. I actually have enough titanium to make the next boss. That didn't take long. Nope. Well, I shouldn't need to make more band-aids for a while after all this. I just realized I'm almost dead. Okay, so Platinum Ore looks exactly like Silver Ore. There's like no difference. Really? Yeah. Because I've been randomly picking up uh, Platinum at some point, but I haven't seen it and it looks any different than Silver. Are you serious? Another vendor? Selling more clothes. This planet is retarded. <laughs> There's just so many people selling clothes here. This is like fashion boutique world. If it didn't have an awesome castle on it, well, the not the castle, the uh, crazy monkey facility, I would totally never come back here. and more bandits. What are you watching? <laughs> I just started watching Key and Peel. Okay, because I can hear it really clearly. Better? Yeah. <laughs> it was just funny, it's like all of a sudden it's here, you can start working at the bank, position doesn't matter. Dude, how do you know I'm not planning to rob a bank and shit? Clearly you are. Clearly. 
you know me, I'm all like bank stealing and stuff is super cool. Yep. You do say that all the time. I do. Oh, it wow. is my dream to rob a bank. I have 253 iron ore now. I think I'll be good to make the uh, steel for a bit. I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, and now there's a little house with a guard in it. It's a weapon shop. I think. No, it's just a random glitch that's just standing here. But there's blacksmith signs everywhere. How freaking large is this planet? I have to be close to finishing it now. pay more attention to my health and not fight things stupidly like I keep doing. But, but, no. Okay, well I just made 168 bandages. Nice. Bandages are fine for a little while now. Alright, I finally got back to the beginning. Alright, back to the ship. Smelt a lot of this ore. And sit and wait for like a half hour while it works. we ever make like an actual home base can we just put like a room that is entirely furnaces just because what well, just because it's faster <laughs> yeah we could actually I think I have a spare furnace no a spare anvil so I set this place as my home so I can get back here again because it's kind of cool with the amount of stuff on it. Cool broadsword. Ice axe. Wow, I have 2,000 pixels now. Crafting table. Uh. Have you ever have you seen ever actually been able to dye anything? No, but I haven't tried. I've seen a lot of, like, I've had a lot of dye and I've tried to use it, but I've never actually been able to do anything with it. Oh, right. No, not that one. This one. Steel bar. Bought a crafting crafting table. Done. I assume I don't need a regular crafting table anymore. You do not, to my knowledge at least.
Where'd my campfire go? Oh. Oh, I can't put my campfire on top of my crafting table anymore. No, that made that was the saddest part of that for me. Nice, and I already have enough to make the star map upgrade mark three. Done. And new blueprints are unlocked. Portable pixel printer. You can actually buy that 3D printer. <laughs> so much giggles. Yep. Ooh, awesome weapons now. Yeah, you'll be at the same tier of weapons that I have. I don't know if I want to waste titanium bars on those right now, though. Because usually you end up finding better stuff anyway. Oh, nice. Eventually. Yeah, I have. I can make those makeshift helmets. You don't also you need, makeshift don't you need hardened stuff for it? No, it takes just matter blocks and steel bars. Okay, mine require hardened stuff. Uh, hardened uh, scale things from the beasts. Right. Uh, smelt the gold first. Yes, let's not make tight. Oh, wait, makeshift greaves. I'll upgrade my helmet first, I think. I got I don't have to see this thing though, because it's pretty ugly. To see? Yeah, no. Steel hunting bow. Have you tried making a lantern? Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. It's it does it. I think it replaces your flashlight, doesn't it? I try, but it seems to not work very well. No. Give me all my gold. gold. There it is. Oh wow, the makeshift stuff is like so much better. I don't, I didn't get makeshift stuff at any point. Well, I think makeshift is like my custom set. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Then it'd be like my custom set. Yeah, like the makeshift helmet is 22 armor and the gold helmet is 13. Okay, no, I have those. It's just my need. I have like a welder's helmet and something else. Oh, no, wait. Steel bars. That's Pioneer? Yeah, okay, Pioneer is my... Oh, I need more pixels. And then I can make the pants. You have an ore processor on your ship, right? Yep. Or should. The that's the refiner, right? Yep. Then yes. Yes I do. Find that silver ore. It gives fifteen uh pixels per, so not too bad. I hate that to go back to my ship, I have to teleport down, then teleport back up. Oh, right. Craft them? 
Okay, I'm wearing the titanium pants. Nice. Th that makeshift stuff. I need. We need to find more of that um, dark matter or matter blocks. I still have five left, but it I've takes a bunch. I've yet to ever see one. Yeah, but if we could find, I think that must be from like a much later tier or something. All right, so now I am out of titanium. Are they still smelting? No. Did you? So are you still on a, a good planet right now? Uh, yes, but I've mined out like half of it so far. I think. Okay. We can just switch to another plant in the same sector, though. Sure. I just came over to you. Okay, I'm just gonna finish running around this place. All right, I'll just wait on your ship. Yeah, because I have 200 uh, titanium on me now. Nice. Like titanium ore, which is enough to well craft anything, which I've already done.